Welcome to a new video, and today it's not about electric trucks, because I'm at Bauma 2025 in Munich, the world's largest construction equipment trade fair. I'll take a look behind the scenes to see the electrification in the construction industry. I've picked out 10 electric construction machines, starting with the smallest battery size and ending with the biggest battery I could find. Number 10 is the battery electric forklift from Palfinger, the FLS 25 electric. It comes in two battery sizes, standard range with 11 kilowatt hours, and long range with 14 kilowatt hours. Yes, that's actually what they're called. It can be charged either while driving or using a standard type two plug at a regular wall box. What's special is that it's up to 200 kilograms lighter than comparable electric forklifts. Number nine goes to Dynapack. Behind me is the world's largest battery electric soil compactor. It's used to compact the base layer before asphalt is applied. It has a battery capacity of 62.4 kilowatt hours allowing it to run for up to seven hours. It can be recharged via CCS or type two with up to 22 kilowatts. Once the asphalt is down, you need to compact it. And for that, you need an electric asphalt roller. Behind me is the BW154APE5AM from Bomag, a battery electric asphalt roller with a 100 kilowatt hour battery for up to eight hours of continuous operation. You can charge it via CCS at up to 100 kilowatts. If you want to renew the road surface, you first need to remove the old layer. That's where the world's largest battery electric milling machine comes in, the Wirtgen W50RE. It has a battery capacity of 126 kilowatt hours, enough for up to eight hours of milling. Charging is simple. Just plug it into a type two outlet with 22 kilowatts of AC. Number six is the GMK5150 XLE from Grove. This isn't a fully battery electric crane. The lower part still runs on diesel, but the crane itself is fully electric with a 180 kilowatt hour battery, giving it up to five hours of runtime. Charging options include 22 kilowatts AC or 200 kilowatts DC. What's interesting is that the diesel engine can also recharge the battery while driving from one site to the next using a 170 kilowatt generator. Number five doesn't go to the Volvo FMX electric behind me, but to the 20 ton electric wheel loader, the Volvo L120. It has a 282 kilowatt hour battery and can operate on site for five to nine hours. Charging is via CCS at 165 kilowatts. Number four goes again to Dynapack, this time for the world's largest battery electric paver, the SD2580CE. It has a 294 kilowatt hour battery, giving it up to eight hours of runtime on the construction site. It can be recharged via CCS at up to 265 kilowatts. Number three is from Senebogen, the 824G electro battery. This is a mobile material handler with a huge 392 kilowatt hour battery, good for up to seven hours of continuous operation. What's also cool is how it's charged. It comes standard with two onboard chargers and can be upgraded to three, giving a total of 66 kilowatts of AC charging. Plus, it can run directly from a 63 amp industrial outlet using grid power. If it draws more than 66 kilowatts, the rest comes from the battery. If it uses less, the battery gets charged that gives you maximum flexibility. Number two is the Sany SY215E electric excavator. It has a massive 422 kilowatt hour battery and can run for up to eight hours on the job. It has two CCS ports, each delivering 150 kilowatts. And number one is the absolute highlight of Bauma, the Liebherr T264 dump truck. It's enormous. It's hard to grasp just how massive it is. And the battery, a gigantic 3,200 kilowatt hours. On top of that, it operates fully autonomously. No driver needed, it just cruises through the mines on its own. What's also fascinating is how it's charged. Using a rail system on the side, delivering a mind-blowing six megawatts, 6,000 kilowatts. That means it can be fully recharged in just half an hour, which is incredible. That was my rapid fire ranking of the most exciting electric construction machines at Bauma 2025. I hope it gave you a sense of just how much is happening in this industry how it's undergoing a complete transformation and shifting to electric. Thanks for watching and greetings from Munich.